Today we're going to use a bouncing ball as a demo to demonstrate a basic of moving hole. So today I will be using Blender as a demonstration. Let's start by doing bouncing up to the top of the floor. We do the first keyframe, then maybe about 30, we move the ball up to where we want to stop the ball. This is called the pose to pose. We have two main keyframes. Okay, next, if we go into play through, it will go in a straight line. So we want him to bounce up around here. We want him to bounce up and then go down. Okay, so let's do look at the graph to edit, to make it look nicer. So this is our graph editor. Let's hide everything first and let's fix the Y translation that means the up and down the up and down we want to make it more sharp at the beginning then make him fall sharper over here and then for this axis which is the front and the back left and right is a constant speed going to the end so we might want to change these two a vector so it will be a constant speed so we have a very basic bouncing ball done to make the animation look nicer we need to add in the squash and stretch so just before it bounce off okay we have to drag everything behind over here we do a keyframe or channel then over here we will have him squash a bit so at the frame 4 we want to make him go down a bit more so I will have him squash at frame 4 and then when he bounce off that time, the very first frame, I will make him stretch all the way. When he reach the top around here, I will put them to 0. Okay, so we go back to the original. Okay, maybe make him squash a bit and just before he reach top, have him stretch a bit. Then just before he reach the bottom, and we stretch some more. Over here, we want to squash the ball. You can put this as zero to squash it. Then go back to original at 40. Okay, so maybe this one will reduce it more. of the animation is something like this. Today's topic is moving hole. Let's say if you want to delay that jump, right now it's jumping straight away. You want to hold that pause, you want to hold it over here, then gain some energy, then we shoot up. We will do that hole first, that's what we call a moving hole. Okay, so I will select all the controller. Maybe you want to hold for until 15. Okay, so we push everything back. Okay, we copy this frame to 15 copy and paste it's still moving because of the graph editor we just need to make sure the graph editor both of them change to vector okay so it's a straight line so from 4 to 15 is a hole okay now we have that hole okay the reason of moving hole is to avoid this ball looking like it's a frame freeze you can see the ball it suddenly freeze there so we want to include a moving hole so that the ball looks more organic like he's alive okay what we need to do is to add some moving on it so once it's squashed down okay maybe over here we want to bring him up just a little bit and then it will have some squash effect a very small movement okay from here to here just a very small movement let's take a look at the final okay let's compare the result okay you can see that there's a moving hole and it won't look like a frame freeze same for the end so after it bounce off after it bounce and reach the bottom okay we may not want it to freeze for so long okay let's say your animation ends around 80 frame 80 you don't want your animation to just stop there okay so we want to add a moving hole for it to look more organic so over here we want to push it down a bit below 
it looks like a ball going back to the original pose. This animation will look more interesting. Okay, so this is how we do a moving hole. The very basic way to show using a bouncing ball. If you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button. Hope to see you guys next time and happy animating.